folks, Mundane Man here again, and today we are going to be replacing a washer nozzle for my Ram 1500 truck. It's a 2012 model. This probably applies to many other models as well. This is the Lariat, but I don't think that matters when it comes to winter washer nozzles. I just picked these up on Amazon, and um, I'll let you know down below how much I paid for them in Canada. Um, but this is going to be a two-part uh, video because I need to replace one on my truck here and then on one on my Jeep Patriot. So apparently between 9 and 11 years these things seem to expire and the center breaks out of it and they're no good anymore. So let's get at it. Okay so the first thing we're going to have to do to get at this nozzle is take down the hood insulation panel. I'm going to be working on the uh, driver's side uh, nozzle. So basically I'm hoping I can just take out the uh, plugs that are holding the liner up to the middle and be able to access the uh, washer nozzle that's sitting somewhere right there. Now I'm going to be using one of these panel tools to uh, pull the plugs out so hopefully they'll come out nice and easy and I won't uh, end up tearing up the hood liner because that would make me sad. Okay as with most things I've never done this before so I am going to take you along with me and you can watch me fail or you can watch me uh, have success with this situation. I see I already need to get a screwdriver so I can just pry up the edge of this um, plug here that holds the liner in. Okay, so I just got a little slotted screwdriver. I'm going to pop this up a bit so I can get this underneath it. And then we're just going to Pull that out gently. And that flew across the room. Let's get this middle one. Didn't need the screwdriver for that one. Gently pull, and out it comes. Now, I may have to go buy new ones of these because it did seem to break the tabs on it a little bit. We'll see if we can reuse them though. Okay, so that's four of them that I got out, and there's also a, lip, uh, a metal tab here, or slot, that's holding the liner in as well. So let's see if we can just work it out of there now. Okay, that was pretty easy. I'm going to bring the camera around now. Here's a look at these plugs that are holding the uh, hood liner in. and. I got the hood liner down just enough where I can see where that nozzle is. And you can see uh, two hoses going to it because uh, the driver's side nozzle is the first in line of the two nozzles. So um, the fluid goes to that nozzle first and then off to the passenger side second. Uh, I should only have to unplug the hose from the middle. You can get a, some light on there. And then that should uh, release the uh, nozzle. And then there's uh, pinch tabs at the bottom of the nozzle that will come up through the top of the hood. Well, I guess it's a good thing we're replacing the nozzle because I was wiggling this hose to try and get the uh, hose unplugged from the nozzle and the thing broke right off the top of it. So, which is good, we're replacing the nozzle anyway, so I just need to pry that out of the rubber and then we'll put uh, the new nozzle through the hood of the um, truck. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take some needle nose and just kind of work that out of there, which just continued to break off even more in there. It is brittle. The hose isn't bad, but the uh, washer nozzle certainly I think I'm going to have to see if I can get this apart and clean out the nozzle completely. Okay, there's the one hose. Let's turn the other hose out there. Perfect. So my nozzle broke off on the inside of there, so I'm just going to uh, check it, make sure it's all clear. I don't want any bits and pieces in there that are going to plug up the uh, washer hose. 
I'm gonna try and blow it out with some air. Air from my uh, lungs. Look inside. I don't see any more inside there, but I'm gonna keep cleaning it out. Seems to be clean now. It doesn't appear to be anything left inside of there, so good. Okay, I'm gonna put the hoses back in, just get it ready for the new nozzle. Like such. Try and turn it in the right direction. Now, to get the nozzle out, careful, there's sharp edges around this hole, but there are push tabs on it. So you just basically got to get up in there and push the tabs. And it sounds like it's easy, but it's very difficult to get in here. They don't leave you much room for sure. I think I've already cut my finger on this hole. They leave the edges pretty sharp. So here's the new nozzle, and these are the tabs on either side that uh, I'm pushing in to get the nozzle to come up through the top of the hood and they're very stiff So it's not the easiest job. So I'm just kind of using a, a Small screwdriver to try and push those tabs in. I got the bottom one to pop out now. Let's try the top part Voila You probably couldn't see because my big melon was in the way, but there's the old nozzle you can see the old one's missing the center. So now the easy part of the job is putting the uh, new nozzle in. Make sure though, and I've already lost it here. Now before you put the nozzle in, just make sure you got this gasket on it. And it's kind of uh, trapezoid shaped, it's much the same as the nozzle is. So make sure you're putting the gasket in on the right way. It's just going to slip over those tabs and then it's nice and flat on there. So now on this side of the hood, make sure you put it in the right way. You don't want to be doing this again. You just uh, put it through the hole and press it in and it is in. On camera focus, but I think you get the idea. And this one has the center in it, so you know it's going to spray right. Now we're going to press the hose back on to the, the new nozzle. Just like that. And I'm just going to give it a quick test to make sure that there's no leaks. There shouldn't be. Everything was just fine. So I'll just do that right now. From the other side it sprayed just perfectly and the hoses are nice and dry. So just make sure your hose is still tucked into the clip there. And there's no clip for this hose so the hood liner is holding it in. So let's put the hood liner back on and we can call this part of the job done. So I'm going to start in the middle here and press that in. And there's one up here. So they're not fitting very good anymore, so I may have to go buy new ones. They do clip in, but they don't appear as solid as they used to be. And I forgot to put it in that little notch over here in the hood that holds it up as well. And that is right over there. You can see the hose for the washers there, and we've got these back in. I think I'm going to go on Amazon though and order some new clips for the uh, the hood liner. Seems like they're almost a one-use thing, even though you pull them out and push them back in. A little piece of the plastic seems to snap off, and and uh, I'd hate for that to fall down while I'm driving. So let's drop the hood, test the sprayer, and we can call this part of the job done.
I think that new sprayer might work better than the old one did. It does leave a bunch of residue on the hood though, but it is windshield washer sprayers. What are you going to do? Okay, that concludes the first half of this video where I did it on the Ram 1500. Now we've got to do it on the Jeep Patriot. I'm going to check to make sure that the nozzle I bought for this guy is the same on the Jeep. If not, I'll have to order a part and then I can update this video. Okay, this is the second half of this video where I do the same washer nozzle replacement on the Jeep Patriot. I compared the ones that I bought for my Ram 1500 with the ones on this while it's still in the vehicle, so it was very difficult to compare. So once I pop this one out, I'll have a better look to make sure it is the same. I'm suspecting they're pretty standard amongst the uh, La Chrysler products that have the hood mounted nozzles, but uh, we'll find that out shortly. So I'm going to do the same thing. Take down half of the uh, hood insulation here and I should be able to get at the passenger side nozzle on this one fairly easy and because the Jeep is smaller and lower hopefully it won't be too much of a back breaking job. Okay so the Jeep Patriot has two uh, plugs here that are holding the, the liner in. I'm going to take them out hopefully to make it easier to pull it out of uh, all of the different uh, holding spots on the hood. These are a little bit deeper. Uh, that came out fairly nicely. Let's do the bottom one now. That came out too. Again, I think I'm going to order new ones for both the truck and the Jeep. So we're just going to slowly lift that out of those tabs. And right here is the nozzle for the passenger side. This one's the opposite of my truck, where the passenger side is the, uh, the first um, location. And so it comes from the washer jug to this nozzle first, that one second. This one I'm going to take the liner right down because it's just that much easier. So, I'm going to take this out of here. Hopefully it doesn't break like the last one did. I'm going to try and wiggle this off so that it doesn't break like the last one did. See, that one just popped off nice and easy. Why didn't the truck come off that easy? I'm going to look up in here. And it appears to have the same type of plastic tabs on the top and the bottom of the nozzle. Come at it from this side. See if I can just push the tab in. Or you can break it right off like that. Okay, again, make sure your gasket is properly placed on the nozzle. Get it all around, wrapped around there over the tabs. And then we'll come around on the hood side, on the top of the hood side, and get the sucker pushed through. Very easy. Fit in the hole just like it should. Hopefully the spray pattern is the same for this windshield compared to the truck, but we'll give her a shot right away here. Okay, let's plug the hose onto there. Seems to fit just fine. Doesn't feel like it's going to fall off at all. Now I'm going to try the spray, make sure there's no leaks or anything. Okay, so no leaks out of there or anything. Everything's nice and dry. So I'm going to close up the hood um, by putting the uh, liner back on and uh, we'll check the spray again, make sure it covers the windshield the way it's supposed to. Okay, let's get the liner back into all of its little notches here. plugs back in. Careful. Make sure your hood prop didn't come up on that. And there it is. Okay, let's give it a test.
Hey, guess what? I had a washer fluid. Today I'm using Laurentide minus 45. Don't really need it in the summer from an antifreeze perspective, but we use this year round in Canada. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, the spray pattern is definitely different on this sprayer. So I think I will order the one specific for the Jeep and do this little job all over again. It doesn't really matter um, about the nozzle type, the process will still be the same. So hopefully I can get this one out without breaking it, seeing as how it's new. The other one is permanently within the hood for safekeeping, so uh, we'll, we'll leave it there until she hits the wrecker. Well, that's it for this edition of Mundane Man, where we changed uh, washer nozzle on the Ram 1500 and on a 2010 Jeep Patriot. And uh, the process is the same for many different years of the Patriot and many different years of the Ram 1500 as well. And I suspect even for the Ram 2500 and 3500, the spray nozzles are going to be virtually the same. So that's it for this, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.